Hey guys, Finisco2000 here, and uh, I'm here with a brand new... I'm that hat. It's a nice hat. Sorry guys for that rude interruption from someone who doesn't enjoy a good hat, but I am here today to enjoy some exotic foreign uh, sodas, fizzy drinks, pops, whatever you want to call it. So I've got a total of five of them here from different countries around the world, and... Uh, Let's give them a try. And first up, we have Mirinda, an orange fizzy drink akin to Fanta, available in southern European countries such as Spain, Portugal, and Italy. Okay, so we have our first drink, and now we just need a glass. <laughs> Let's give it a try. I had to travel quite far with most of these, so I'm worried that they, any of them could explode at any second, so let's just... That looks like a disgusting colour. That looks so much more artificial than Fanta. It's not like a sort of yellowy colour, it's like an artificially orange colour. I thought that the bottle would be a certain colour, but no, it's... Ooh, that looks very chemically, but could be amazing. Who knows? Let's, uh... Smells very orangey, but a little bit filthy. Jesus, what is... Well, first of all, it's it, it's sweet as hell. It's it's a bit... It's a bit flat, but it's really sweet. How much sugar is in this? Hmm. Only 5%. I guess it must have a bunch of, like, sweeteners in it. It tastes really sweet. Hang on. Hmm. Honestly, uh, it's not great. It's not great. Uh, I'm gonna give it a two out of five. The sweetness is so pokey, but it looks grim. It doesn't taste particularly orangey, and um, it's flat. It's just a bit too sweet. Yeah, uh, two out of five. Fanta Shocata, which is a lemon and elderflower flavoured Fanta, despite the blue colour. It's apparently lemon and elderflower flavour, and it's available in Eastern European countries sh such as Hungary, Romania, and Austria. Let's give it a try. Once again, I expected it to fizz up a lot more. Ah, so it's actually the bottle that's blue in this instance. So you can see that is probably a lemon and elderflowery sort of colour, isn't it? Oh, I can already smell it. Yeah, that that actually smells really sort of floral. I like I like that. Hang on. Oh, that is good. That's like I'm so hmm. Other than being a little bit sweet. I mean, it's a fizzy drink, what do you expect? But other than being a little bit sweet, um... Actually, quite nice. Uh, Jesus. This thing has 40% of your daily sugar in it, in total. That's more than Coke. Actually, no, 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 I think that's like the same as a can of Coke. It's nearly as much as Coke. Jesus. Um, still, it's not bad. It definitely tastes of lemon and elderflower, unlike... Mirinda, which tastes a bit like Sunny D, if you've ever had Sunny D, Mirinda is like that. The Fanta Shocata is actually quite good. It's what you'd imagine Fanta, you know, Fanta's take on lemon and elderflower would be, so decent. And now we're going to try Grape Fanta. Now, this is actually just uh, as of, I think, a couple of days ago at the time this was filmed, uh, released in the UK, so you can actually try this from most supermarkets now, but o only recently. And I don't know, I don't know if it's a limited edition like the blood orange flavour was, um, and the pink grapefruit. They were both short lived, unfortunately. But maybe grape is here to stay, because I've had it before when I've been to America, and it is good. But let's let's see if this is as good because it is fun to diet because of the sugar tax and that, but. 
So that's got a bit more fizz to it straight off the bat. Lovely colour. Smells very <laughs> grapey. See, so di diet fizzy drinks that always are just a little bit too fizzy. I think they try and compensate for the flavour by just adding more fizz. Um, hmm. Definitely quite a bit more fizz to it, though. Um, I, I'm thinking I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5, I think. Mm. By the way, uh, I didn't actually say, Lemon and Elderflower, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Very solid, but... Great. Yeah, 3 out of 5. It's very decent. Could be better. So, guys, next up we have... Machine, that should it. No, we have um, Fanta Strawberry. Now, I couldn't find much about this specific because Fanta Strawberry is available in a few countries, but from what I gather, this is primarily available in Arabic countries. Uh, I could find most links to North African countries, so I'm assuming Algeria, Tunisia, that sort of business. Oh, this is good, isn't it? Oh. Outstanding. No, 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 I can't do the sniff test until I've already poured it. So this looks very artificial. It nearly as artificial as the Mirinda. It just looks very... Oh boy, right. This looks very flat. Jesus, okay. Hmm. Oh, wow, it, it does smell good, though. Um, any of you local molten people, you'll uh, recognise this. It, st the strawberry is very similar to the daiquiri that you can get at Tui's. You know, the alcoholic slush. Very similar in scent, but let's give it a try. That tastes so cheap. Jeez. <laughs> Well, first of all, it tastes incredibly sugary, like, really, just... You know when you have, like, Coke sometimes, and you could feel the syrup, that sort of thickness to it? Oh. It smells better than it tastes, definitely, and it... it... A problem a few of these have is they're, they're, they're a bit flat. Um, I mean, they've been, they've been sealed this whole time, so I don't see what the problem will have been, but the, all these... All these damn foreign fizzy drinks, they're all just a bit flat. Well, this one is not nice. No, I'm I'm gonna give I'm gonna give strawberry Fanta from North Africa. I'm gonna give it a one out of five. Not impressed. This is the one I have been dreading. And it's a shame that I just had the strawberry uh, Fanta because this next one I am very worried about. This is Barbican. It is a non-alcoholic beverage available in Middle Eastern countries. Um, a, it is a malt drink meant to replicate beer, but it comes in a number of flavours. And uh, this one I picked because I thought it looked interesting. But um, it's watermelon flavour. It's going. It's watermelon flavour. Non-alcoholic beer. Oh dear. It says it's a twist. And it is a twist. I can already smell it. I haven't even moved. The explode, right. Still a little bit of Fanta left, hang on. Right. <laughs> it looks like jelly juice. Oh my god, if you don't know what Jilly Juice is, just Google it, it, it was on a Dr. Phil, Jilly Juice, oh. All, all piss, alternatively it does look a bit like piss. It smells very watermelony though. Oh, from here, I've not even come close, hang on. That is strong, okay, right. I, I'm not happy about this, by the way. I want you to know that I am doing this for your benefit, this is... 
Ugh, this does not look okay. It tastes exactly like you would expect it. It, it tastes exactly like you expect it to. Watermelon flavored non-alcoholic beer. Jesus. Okay. It's got like it's got that sort of n neck feeling that beer has that sort of just gets into the back of your throat, but it just has this overpowering sense of watermelon. It's not like a good watermelon either. This is a bad. This is a bad watermelon. It's not a very nice watermelon at all. Uh, right. Let me let me give it another go. No, 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 that's not nice at all. I'm giving that a... I'm giving that a zero out of five. That is not nice at all. Stay away from it. Absolutely stay away. So in fifth place, it's Barbican. In fourth place, <coughs> Strawberry Fanta. Yeah, in third place, Marinda. In second place, Grape Fanta. And in first place, knocking the rest out of the park, it's Fanta Shukata, a.k.a. Fanta Lemon and Elderflower. <coughs> Drink fizzy drinks uh, appropriately, kids. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry this video was shit. Um, I mean, if you've come away with anything, it's that you don't trust Middle Eastern drinks, apparently. Um, stick to good old European drinks, clearly.